Hello again, I hope you're well. I hope you're having a, a good day today too. Uh, we are continuing our little journey through the, the Bible, one day, one book. And uh, today we're in day 33 of the journey, uh, which is book 33, and that was written by uh, Habakkuk. The, the amazing thing about Habakkuk is that we know very little about him. He only appears in this one book, and there's almost no personal information about him whatsoever. Um, we believe that he wrote this prophetic work in around about 600 BC, but we can't date it accurately. Um, Habakkuk had prayed, as I guess most of us undoubtedly do, to ask why God didn't seem to be answering his prayers or listening to the pleas of the, the faithful people. Verse one, sorry, chapter one, verse two, he wrote, How long, O Lord, must I call out for help, but you do not listen? Does that seem like a familiar kind of prayer to you? I'm certain I've prayed that more than once myself. Habakkuk uh, could see the evil things that were going on in the world. They could see what people were doing to each other, and he desperately wanted God to intervene. But when God spoke to him, he didn't particularly like the response that he got, but he came to realise that ultimately God does hear our prayers and he does answer them. It's just that sometimes the answers to our prayers aren't what we might want or expect them to be. God doesn't always do the things that we want. He does what he sees needs to be done. Habakkuk eventually accepted God's ways. Um, he said, The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before him. It's a great phrase, isn't it? Just shut up and let God get on with it. It's, it's so brilliant. And I think that's the lesson that we should take from Habakkuk, that no matter um, how long we wait for God to act or how desperately we might petition him for a resolution to some problem or some issue that we've got, he is still working his purposes out. We might not see it. We might not recognise it. It may not look like the thing that we think it should look like, but he will still be working his purposes out. He does things in his time, not ours. And the results will always be good, no matter how desperate they may appear to us on the surface. Because he knows the end from before the beginning, and he sees how things need to be. Let's pray. Father God, grant us patience to wait on you. Help us, Lord, not to turn away because we don't get the results we want. Help us, Lord, to place our full and undivided trust in you that we might see your glory fall in all that we do. So bless us today, we ask, with patience and trust and faith in you. We ask in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.